If you liked focus mode in iOS 15, iOS 16 is receiving lots of improvements. Focus mode is Apple's way of helping users get tasks done while filtering out any outside distractions when we need to be disconnected from our phones. Thanks so much for tuning in to Ellen's Tips for iOS. If you haven't subscribed to the channel or turned on the notification bell, go ahead and do so now in that bottom right-hand corner. Let's get started. What's new in focus mode with iOS 16? The setup is more straightforward with a new personalized experience for each focus you create. Apple states that users will now have a personalized setup experience for each option. You'll see suggestions while going through the different sections, enabling apps or contacts that your iPhone thinks should be able to grab your attention by sending you notifications. The three main new features include linking them with your iPhone lock screens, setting up a custom home page, and the new focus filters, making it easier to stay on track with what's important. If you've never set up a focus mode, the first thing you'll do is you'll come into the settings app and you'll tap on focus and you'll come into the area where Apple has pre-created some focuses and you can tap into them and customize them if you want. Or we can go ahead and create a new focus. So I'll tap on that and then let's create a personal focus. And so now we're gonna come in here, it's gonna tell me a little bit about this focus and I'm gonna choose to customize focus. And here we have uh, silence notifications from people and from apps. And I'm going to go ahead and choose that focus. And it's going to say to me, you can allow notifications from these particular people. And Apple kind of uh, looks at who you've received text messages from or phone calls from. And if you've received uh, a lot of them from these particular people, Apple adds them thinking that you might want to receive notifications from them. You can choose to say yes, or you can delete some of these, or you can delete all of them. So here it would say allow calls from allowed people only. And right now, these are the only people I am going to allow. You can add people and you can tap on the minus sign uh, next to each of these icons to remove those people. Right now, I'll choose to leave it allow notifications from. And then if you scroll down below, you'll see that you can allow repeated calls. I'm going to tap on back. And now I'm going to choose apps. And right now, I'm allowing notifications from no apps. And this is how I would like to set up my personal notification. I don't want to receive any notifications from any apps. But if you do, you can go ahead and hit the plus sign. Your apps will be listed. You can click on any one of them and they will be added to this list. And those notifications will get through even while you're in this focus mode. You can also choose to turn on time sensitive notifications. So if someone says that this is an important message, that message would get through no matter what. Now let's move on to customize the lock screen and the home page filters. So I'm going to tap back in the upper left corner. And so we've done our notifications. I'll tap on options. And here you have some options. You can show on the lock screen, the silence notification. You can dim the lock screen and you can hide notification badge. So that's your options. Uh, your notification options for people and for apps. Let's move down to customizing the screens. The first screen I'm going to choose is the lock screen. And when I come in here, I have an option to choose a screen that I have already available to me, or I can tap into the gallery and now I can choose from my photos and it'll give me like featured things, suggested photos, or I can choose to add people. So I can choose an emoji if I want to. And so if I choose the emoji and I tap the X, 
this would be the emoji that I would add to my lock screen. So that would be the wallpaper of the lock screen. Or I could choose to have a weather lock screen or even just a plain uh, colored background. So let's go ahead and let's just choose this plain colored background as the lock screen. And I'm going to say go ahead and add. And so now it'll say set as wallpaper pair and that'll that'll set the home screen and the wallpaper, uh, sorry, the lock screen and the wallpaper screen as this particular pair. So I'll go ahead and I'll say OK. And so now my lock screen when I'm in this mode only is going to be this color along with the home screen will also be this color and I'll show that to you in a minute. Now let's go ahead and move into the home screen page where we can customize the apps that we will allow ourselves to see while we're in this focus mode. So I'm going to go ahead and hit choose and now we're going to come into this particular page where we can create a new page or we can choose a page from the pages that we've already created. I'm going to go ahead and say, let's create a new page. I'm going to click on this and then Apple has these apps as suggested apps for me to see based on what I, what apps I use, you know, on my iPhone, the apps probably that I use the most and they give me those options. I can go ahead and say edit apps and I can choose these apps or I can delete them from that page. So if I didn't want some of these, I would just uncheck them. And if I wanted others, I would just scroll through them. And then here's a list of all of the apps that you have on your phone. And so you can add any of them to that home page. I'm going to go ahead and just say done and add the apps that you can see checked off here. I'll say done. And then I'm going to say go ahead and add that page. And so now that page has been added as a, a home screen page that I can use. And you also have an option to change the look of your watch when you're in this particular focus mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose modular and say done. And so now when I access this focus mode, these are the screens and lock screens that are going to appear on my iPhone and on my watch. If I scroll down, you'll see some other options which we will dive into next. Now let's talk about smart activation. If you turn on smart activation, basically you can turn this focus on automatically at a set time or when you reach a location or while you're using a particular app. So let's go ahead and tap into smart activation and I can go ahead and I can turn that on. And when I come back out, I can add a schedule and here the schedule can be based on time when I want that focus to uh, start. It can be based on location. So if I want to turn this location on when I arrive at work or at a doctor's appointment, or I, it can be done by app. So if I want to turn on focus mode when I open a book, you know, on the books app, I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap on location and I'm going to go ahead and say work so that when I arrive at work, this focus mode will automatically turn on and I will only have access to the things and the people, the apps and the people that I have set up previously. I'm going to go ahead and tap on done. And so now we have a smart activation set up. And then now let's go ahead and talk about focus filters. Support for focus filters is limited right now. And so let me go ahead and tap on add filter. And then you come into the filters area and right now you can see it's very limited. We have things from Apple such as Safari, Mail and Calendar. And then some other developers have added some focus filters. And I feel like 
you know, once more developers uh, add uh, are working with iOS 16, more of these filters will become available. If I scroll down, you also have uh, some filters to change the appearance or uh, turn on, you know, things such as low power mode. So let's go ahead and just tap into mail and I'll tap on Ellen's tips and I'll say add that as a filter. And so basically what happens is, is that when I go into the mail, that's the only inbox that I'm going to see is my Ellen's tips uh, inbox. I can add another filter. Um, let's choose uh, the Safari filter. And here I can go ahead and I can choose only a tab group. So I'll go ahead and choose my tech tab group and I'll say add. And so while I'm in this particular focus mode, I'll only be able to see the uh, tab groups that are available in the tech tab group. So that's how you use filters in focus mode. So now let's bring this all together and show you how this particular focus mode would work. Now I have it set up so that when I go to my workplace, as soon as I would get there, this focus mode would automatically turn on. And since I'm not at my workplace, to turn on a focus mode, any focus mode, if you just swipe down from the upper right corner to access the control center, and then where it says focus, tap on the word focus, not on the half moon. If you tap on the half moon, you're going to go into do not disturb. But if I tap on the word focus, it opens up all of my focuses and I can go ahead and select personal and immediately it turns on my focus mode. If I go to the lock screen, you'll see that on the lock screen, you'll see that at the bottom, it says personal, letting me know that I'm in personal focus mode. I'm going to swipe up to come back into the settings and you can see that we set up that one page uh, of apps. And so these are the apps that allows me to access and turn on. Now you can go to other apps and, and get to them, but this is how you would uh, access you know, just these apps while you're in focus mode so that you're not uh, tempted to start using everything on your phone, but only these particular apps. And if anybody that's in those um, apps or people sends you a message or makes a phone call to you, only those people are going to be allowed to access you. And as you can see, uh, the wallpaper changed in this mode, and so did uh, the lock screen color. So that's how you turn on a focus mode if you need to do so. But when I arrive at work, this focus mode will automatically turn on. When I leave work at the end of the day, the focus mode will turn off and return to my normal uh, lock screen and my normal home page where I can access all of my apps. But again, you can turn this off yourself by swiping down from the upper right corner, coming in to the uh, control center. And then this time, instead of tapping on personal, uh, where it says on, you can go ahead and tap on the little icon and you'll see that it immediately turns focus off and you're back to your regular lock screen and your regular home page. Focus modes aren't for everyone, but if implemented correctly, this can be a game changer in the way you use your devices. Many of these changes are also available on iPadOS 16 and macOS Ventura. Let me know in the comments if and how you're using focus modes. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.